finally back. Literally didn't even know you were gone. Why are you making beats in Excel? What's going on today guys, Weaver Beats here, and today we'll be doing a plug-in police on Reason 12. But first, we gotta talk about today's sponsor, my Patreon. If you guys want to support the channel, you can join my Patreon for as low as $1 a month. There's a bunch of goodies you get and whatnot. You can get your tracks mastered for cheaper than I normally do them, lessons and all kinds of stuff like that. Anyways, make sure you check that out down in the description and moving on to today's topic. Okay, so what's new in Reason 12? Well, they basically only added like four things. First thing they added was Mimic Creative Sampler. It's a, uh, well, it's a creative sampler. It has four different modes, and one of them lets you layer multiple sounds and put them on tune together, so it's actually pretty interesting. At first, I thought it looked overcomplicated and unnecessary for a sampler, but it actually has a lot of things I haven't seen in other samplers. They also updated the Combinator, which is uh, pretty cool. They let you completely design it from scratch now, so you can put as many knobs, faders, and basically whatever you want on it, which is pretty great. Along with high-resolution graphics. Thank God. Thank God this is something they put in the top four things that you get with the upgrade. And a faster browser. Holy shit, is that really what it's come to here? All right, so let's check out the Mimic Sampler. Let's watch this pitch video from Reason's own YouTube channel. I'm going to admit this on behalf of anyone else out there like me watching. I don't use samples in my music making. All right, I've heard all I need to know. I'm just joking, but like literally that's like the worst thing you could say here. You should have just deleted this part. Like especially as someone who's used samplers like pretty much most of my music making uh, career. Don't say that shit. All right, so what I actually like about the Mimic Sampler is, uh, like I said, you can layer together multiple sounds and you can put them on tune together. And yeah, I made some pretty interesting results. Uh, check this out here. I mean, basically I would normally only use like Serato sample for sampling. So uh, that's still probably my go-to, but like if I wanted to do something very experimental and creative, I could see myself reaching for this. Is it worth all the money though? I don't know. New Combinator. Yep, pretty nifty, pretty cool. Pretty nifty and cool. I mean, it's great they upgraded the graphics, but uh, I don't know if this is something that should have been in like the top four features. I feel like they're really stretching them here. All right, so the biggest problems and uh, good things I've noticed, I'm just gonna throw it all together here. So the drum library is incredibly bloated. They said they added a bunch of sounds, which is great, but uh, one of the problems is they still have all, like all the old sounds from like Reason 4, so. Yeah, there's some like really bad kicks in here, snares, just basically every sound. There's tons of bad sounds in here. I really think they should go in and refine just their whole sound library because we don't need a lot of these like bad sounding like shitty kicks and shit. I don't know why they're in here. There's a lot of really bad sounds in here. Uh, I will say the loop library is really nice though. I found some very punchy drum and bass type loops, half step loops, basically everything I could want was in there, which is weird because I don't understand why they have these really high quality loops and then they have these like really low quality drum samples that I remember being here since like Reason 4. I really think they should just like scrap the whole like drum library and maybe only use the ones they like made from the past, I don't know, two or three versions of Reason or something. I don't know, this is my idea. There's definitely a lot of great Reese patches though. If you're looking for Reese basses, and you don't want to do any of the work, uh, Reason has got you covered, at least with that. Uh, I will say Sidechain is still a pain in the ass. I don't, I don't really see how they're going to fix that problem ever. It's just the way this DAW works. It's, uh, it's a pain in the ass. But what do I know? I'm just an Ableton user popping in out of left field. And I also used to use this software for like five years before that, but still. So what I'm noticing about Reason is they keep adding stuff, but they don't really fix the old things or optimize them or, you know, get rid of old things that don't need to be there anymore. So it just, it's a really bloated software as far as like devices, drum samples. It's just got way too much going on in terms of, you know, low quality things mixing with the high quality things. Random bag of chips. You don't know what you're going to get. So yeah, there's drum samples from Reason 4 still here. Why? All right. So where's the auto save feature? I've been waiting for that. Uh... I don't know, I've just been waiting for that. Where's VST3 compatibility? Also waiting for that. Uh, I feel like the audio editing is not the best in this software still. I still feel really, it feels really clunky to me. It just doesn't feel as intuitive and 
workflow friendly as Ableton's. I feel like they definitely should have thrown in a few more devices with this. At the very least, they could have taken some of the devices they sell in their store and implemented them into Reason 12. But I guess that wouldn't really work for the people that already own the devices or have Reason Plus. So I could see that why they didn't do that also. But yeah, this upgrade does feel a bit skimped in my opinion. And um, I honestly don't know if I would pay for this because I, I have Reason 11. So I basically have most of this already. So is it worth the upgrade price? You know, I would say no, unless you're like a really big reason lover and you've been here since like forever and you have like reason 10 or lower. If you have reason 11, I don't really think it's worth the upgrade unless you really want this mimic sampler and the combinator and the graphics and stuff. Cause those three things are not really, I don't know if it's really worth 130 bucks to me. I mean, it's okay. I mean, at this point I kind of feel like reason is really stretching these updates thin. Like every year they got a new update and it's just like, it's barely qualifying as an update. I do find it strange that we upgrade the graphics before adding autosave compatibility or VST3 compatibility. But hold the phone guys, uh, they actually made a blog post where they like apologized for this release I guess and they, they said they're gonna do better and do more stuff going forward. So let's just talk about that real quick. So they said they're gonna talk about their plans for what they're gonna implement going forward as well as be more communicative with the uh, community because that'd be a, they do need to get feedback from the community because the community was not stoked on this update. In this blog post they said they plan to add a smart browser, more high-res graphics, VST3 compatibility, and M1 Apple compatibility. All for free obviously, I would hope. <laughs> No, that's the next upgrade guys you got to get all that you're just gonna get all that, that basic shit there but yeah i don't know why they have to rush these updates out the door they could just have put all this in here or maybe got a little more feedback before releasing it but uh yeah i don't know it's, it's a little bit of a lukewarm upgrade in my opinion I give Reason 11 a strong five to light six out of 10. If you guys are interested in trying out Reason 12, you can get a trial down in the description. It's actually not bad. Like I actually think the software is pretty good, but I just think this update is a little bit, uh, it's pretty underwhelming. So make sure to check out Bloom Audio if you haven't, the great mixing mastering service. I know it's because I am them. And check out today's sponsor, my Patreon, and join my Discord. We have lots of great fun conversations in there. Okay, I'm lying, it's fucking terrible. Incorporated.